Well, in this video, we are going to finish fixing the pieces of the character. The video can become a bit long, but these are things that you are able to do right now. Because you know the technique. You know that it's very simple to modify it. Then there should be no problem for that part. I recommend that you leave the character or the main body of the character in a good level of subdivisions. For example, three or four subdivisions to be more precise and know how the pieces are going to look about the character and how deep the pieces are going to look. We can leave it at that and we'll just go for each of the pieces. I recommend you name them again in case they don't have a name. Name them so that it's much easier to find them. With the bell, try to keep all the pieces the same distance. All these edges cannot look thicker than others. The idea is that it looks very even. Well, I think we can leave this bell like that. And then let's go with the other piece. For example, here this piece must be repaired, since it got damaged. The C polish brush can help us in this case, as it can help us flatten these areas much more. First we are going to leave them at the same level, and then we start flattening out.
Mm, just a moment. Just one moment. As we all need these pieces to be planned, we can use this polish. And uh, with, with a good subdivision. For example, the sculpture brings four subdivisions by default. If we look at it at one, we see that it's already much flatter. And again, we lower the subdivisions to make them thick. For example, this is very high. Not to mention that it was on the outside of the skin. <laughs> Let's turn off this piece from here. Just for a moment. And let's organize the size. Alright, these pieces are already much more organized. Let's go to the next one. This is a lot of work. We had already fixed this one a little, but then we'll finish refining it. Alright, okay, this is a little crooked, let's organize it, organize it a little better. I think that's good enough. Well, 
Well, here you can see some lumps, but that can be fixed with a silk polish brush. Uh, why is this going through? Okay, done. The last thing we need is to organize the piece that we had already hidden. This one the zipper let's make sure that this distance is very even if possible the same and let the zipper completely cover the belt. Let's see how it looks if we go up the subdivisions of the maximum with the all height option. And now going up all the subtools with all high, we see that it already looks better. It looks a lot like what we need. Well, this time lapse was a bit long, but I hope it has helped you to learn the importance of starting to save all your projects, all the inputs that we believe, and reuse them, modify them, and put them in new projects to make them even better. This is all for the video, and I will see you in the next.